Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. This is the 2024 GMC Sierra 2500HD AT4X. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the information to answer the question, do you get the right features for a sticker price of $94,925? We'll start things off with the exterior color. It is called Thunderstorm Gray. I don't know how well that shows up on video based on what I'm actually seeing in person. Personally, I can't say that I would order this color on a truck, but it really is a very nice color, that's for sure. The interior is called Obsidian Rush. And one thing about these trucks is the fact that they do have nice long and tall cabs. That means there is a lot of interior space for not only the driver and the passengers, there's a lot of nice little storage areas as well. And there are some changes to talk about with this truck for 2024, including a redesigned front fascia, mainly the front bumper and the grill. There are some different grill options, I should say, with that. And you'll also notice some other changes here, very minute, but you have the animated headlights. And I say that, I almost said that, I really said that at the wrong time. You notice that effect right there where the lights kind of have that flickering effect. That's not what I'm talking about. That's actually happening because you're looking through the lens of my GoPro. It's a common issue with a lot of these cameras. So unfortunately you can't actually make it do that. It would be kind of cool if you did, but you can see the aggressive look here on the front end with the grill that's on the truck, a gloss black look. I think that fits the AT4X logo gloss black here on the lower portion. There are your fog lights right down there on the lower area. That's right there, just in case you're wondering. And then we're gonna have the red tow hooks. That way, when you run into the guys that are stuck in their Fords and Rams, Toyotas, Nissans, everything else that's out there, they know right where to come to hook up so you can pull them out. Now, one thing I know some of you may not know about with your truck. When you look at the front camera right here, you can have up to 14 camera views on this truck. But you notice this, that is not the camera. What exactly is that? That's the front camera washer. Let me show you how that works. Now, one thing I want to do here is let you know that you don't have to bring the front view camera up on your 13.4 inch touchscreen right here. I'm doing this simply for demonstration purposes, but every single time you run the windshield washer fluid, the front view camera will spray windshield washer fluid across the camera. Now I'm not going to do it right now because this truck's already been purchased. I don't want to get it dirty. So we're not going to run that across the front end, just kind of thinking about the customer. But all you're going to do is push the button right here and that's going to activate the front camera washer. Like I say, it doesn't matter whether it's on the screen or not. Every time you clean the windshield, that is going to also at the same time clean your front camera washer no big deal, no hassle, just peace of mind of sorts. And by the way, you can see the animated lights right there, just kind of showing you what happens with the truck. Let me go ahead and also show you the remote right here. You're gonna have remote start, lock, unlock. Now with the multi-pro tailgate that we have on this truck, you only have the power down feature. If you want that power up feature as well, you won't be able to have the multi-pro tailgate. Some guys may or may not know that, but just something good to know in case you are curious about that. And I'll show you again the animated lights right here. That's happening as I unlock the truck. LED lighting literally everywhere there is lighting on this truck. You do have your power side view mirrors, power adjustable, power folding with, again, LED lighting built in. I don't know how well that's showing up with the sun being so bright today, but you can see the lights built into the side view mirror right here. We're also going to have, let's see if we can show it to you. I don't know if that's going to show up as well. Again, because of the sun, the cab light, and then you have the in-bed LED lighting. And one more spot where you'll find the lighting is going to be right back here on the tailgate. And speaking of features with this truck, I mentioned to you that we have the power side view mirrors. Now I'm going to go ahead and while I'm thinking about it, just turn all of this off. So here's how everything works. I'm going to push this button right here. Let's see here. I don't know if you saw, I don't know if it's on the screen or not, but it's the button right here, the far right. That is for folding those power folding side view mirrors in. 
And then obviously they are trailering mirrors. We can hold the button down or push the button to also extend those out. And how about our tire and wheel size? Obviously this is a four wheel drive truck. Tires, well, to say they're big is an understatement. Very large tires, very capable on and off road. A very wide 305 width, a 70 series sidewall. And that rim probably looks bigger on the screen just because of the size of the truck. Well, maybe not. Maybe this just fits right. I don't know. You tell me what you think. But those are 18 inch wheels in this particular case. And to make things easier, when you have the remote on your person, you can walk up and lock or unlock all four doors. This is on the driver and the passenger side, only on the front door with the body colored door handles. That's called passive entry. Very helpful. Now, one thing this truck does not have are the steps where you can kick the button on the back here and have it come back and make it easier to gain access to the bed. But you do have the built in step that makes it easy to do that and then you can gain access into the bed itself from the front area without having to worry about getting all the way in. Now, there are a few different ways to do that, one of which obviously being the fact that you can use the corner steps or what I like to call the bumper steps, nice and deep, large steps right there that make it very easy to climb into the back of the truck, also the multi-pro tailgate. We'll get to that after we talk about what's under the hood. And this way, I don't really have to say too much about what's under the hood. The 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel, obviously making plenty of horsepower, 470 horsepower, 975 pounds feet of torque. There is a 25% increase for 2024 in low end torque. Obviously that's going to make towing easier. That's going to be mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And you do have the power assist steps here with the truck. When you open the doors, they will deploy. And obviously when you close, well, depending on how you have things set up, there are settings within the infotainment screen that allow them to stay deployed if you want. There are benefits to that. You could leave them out if you wanted to by just not closing the door all the way, but probably easier if you needed to wash the truck and get those nice and clean well, you can just deploy them in the infotainment screen. I'll show you how to do that when we get into the truck. And let's talk about practical use as a truck. 3,975 pounds as the payload and when properly equipped, a max towing capacity of 22,500 pounds. That is not bad. And the multi-pro tailgate, I told you we were going to take a closer look at this. For those who have never seen this, I'm going to show you exactly what it's all about. And there are a lot of different benefits here. Obviously, you can use it as a conventional tailgate. And then we'll go up here and we'll hit this top button. And you can use this area right here, well, as a table if you wanted to. There's probably a lot of different uses you could use that for. And right in here, there's a little button you can push. That's going to be the button right there just so you can see what I did. You can use this as a bed extender to begin with of the multiple uses here. And there's actually two different ways to do that. So let's show you what else you can do with that. I'll show you the second way you can use it as a bed extender. So we will fold the, or lower the tailgate. You really fold the tailgate, you open or lower a tailgate, I guess. It's okay if you want to laugh at me instead of with me, you can. But here is your second bed extender option. And then I'll close that back up. And here's something, I don't know if this was intended, probably so. If not, I'm going to tell you about it anyway, because it's something that I sure see. If you open that portion of the multi-pro tailgate as I have right there, you can easily gain access to this portion of the bed or maybe further in, depending on how long your arms are compared to mine, instead of having to climb all the way in if you don't want to or don't need to. It just gives you access further into the interior of the bed. And I told you about those bumper steps, the corner steps on the bumpers or bumper. There's one bumper, not bumpers. Yes. Again, you can laugh. It's okay. I like to give you opportunities to laugh at me in my videos and I'm sure giving them to you today. But if you do need to climb all the way in, there is your step. Has the graphite material down here. I always like to say that reminds me of the grip tape on a skateboard from when I was a kid. 
we had that. Some of you might still ride skateboards. I don't know. And there's the handle on the 1500 Sierras. I don't feel like I need that handle, but here on these 25 and even the 3500s, I like that because you're stepping up a good bit higher. Well, again, depends on your height. So for some of you, it might be easier than it is for me at five foot 10. And by the way, if you're saying, well, Tom, you said that you can tow up to 22,500 pounds with this 2500. I really need to tow over 30,000 pounds. You'll need to go with the 3500, which has a max towing capacity of 36,000 pounds. You also have the Kicker Audio system right here with this particular truck, one of the available options. So you can really make this kind of the ultimate tailgating truck in a multitude of ways. And let me close that back up so I can show you. You have a lot more back here to talk about. The 120 volt power outlet right there, you're gonna have a total of 12 tie downs within the interior of the bed with the spray in bed liner. There are tie downs literally everywhere you look. And everything you would expect to find here is here for your trailering needs, your towing needs, all of that. You can order these trucks ready to receive your fifth wheel hitch, all that good stuff here, gooseneck, all of that can be here. A power rear window, power sliding rear window, just that small portion there in the center. Would you like to see, maybe this is a little question for it to answer, Maybe you would like to see down the road GMC add an option to where that whole window comes down, kind of like we see with the Toyota Tundras. And as I said earlier in the video, there's a lot of space for the driver and the passengers, as well as storage capacity. In a lot of different areas of the truck, including the nice large and deep door bins, you can also use this as a bottle holder. So if you have a really tall bottle right here, you could use that for that area. It would hold no problem and a comfortable armrest, kind of have that baseball style stitching right here in red. That looks really nice, better than just being in white, which is what we have down here. Would be kind of nice, in my opinion, to have seen that in red. And space within the interior, not only to storage capacity as far as little areas go, like the door bins or what you have under the fold up seat cushions right here, but just the general area here in the rear. Maybe you're buying that Christmas present that you want to keep out of the elements, if it's raining, something like that, and it will fit back here. Well, you can raise the seat cushions and do that. You can also gain access to all of the tools to change the spare tire, put a spare tire on if you need to. The spare tire is located underneath the rear of the truck, as you would probably expect. And personally, I really like the use of potential storage space by GMC here with the in-seat storage. This is going to be on both sides. And boy, I'll tell you what, it sure is nice to have the grab handles right here. We reach up, grab and pull myself in, no problem. Makes it easy. Here are the rear storage pockets or rear seat pockets. And I'm going to tell you something. There are cup holders practically everywhere you look. No matter which direction you turn inside the interior of this truck, you run into a cup holder not only in the door bins on the rear of the center console and here with the fold down armrest. I told you they're pretty much everywhere. So easy to find that I think a blind man with his eyes shut could find every single one. Air conditioning vents on the rear of the center console as well as the heated seats and a couple of USB options. And in the subject of the sunroof, you don't have a panoramic sunroof. This is the sunroof that's available, at least for now, the conventional size. For those of you who are maybe like me, I've actually ordered one of these trucks. Should be in in January sometime. Don't worry, you'll get to hear all about it and get a long-term review as well. For me, I don't want a sunroof. Good news, that is an option. So if you don't want it, you can delete it. All right, let's jump into the tour of the front seat here, starting on the passenger side. Pretty much the same thing we saw with the rear doors, still pretty much the same size. Very large door bins, comfortable armrest, plenty of room there. But one thing the rear seat passengers won't be able to enjoy has to do with the control right here. That's going to be the massage seat function on both seats, the driver and the passenger side. That also means you're going to find that they're power, fully powered, 
and heated and ventilated. I'm actually using the heated function today. That is unusual for me here in Northwest Louisiana, but in a couple of days, I'll need the ventilated function again. It's the way it goes. The AT4X logo on the door sill right there. And I like how these mats work. You have the removable carpeted section. I don't know if I can even get my hand in there, but you can see the snaps right here. I don't think I can do that. Let's let's try. Let's just see what Tom's talent abilities are. There we go. I think I got it. Uh, come on. Am I that weak? There we go. You can take these out, these inserts out if you want to. It's probably easier for most people than it was for me right there. My hands are just a little cold right now. That will be my excuse. But I didn't have any trouble opening the upper glove box or the lower glove box. More storage right there, like I was telling you. So very easy to take advantage of that. And we'll hop inside a completely different look across the dashboard compared to what we've seen in previous years. I've had a lot of you tell me in the last couple of years, Tom, these interiors are looking antiquated in these trucks. Well, GMC heard you and they've made changes to everything. That's why we have the 13.4 inch screen right here. That is nice in the 12.3 inch instrument cluster right there for the driver. We'll take a closer look at that shortly. Here are several one touch buttons. I probably don't need to tell you folks what they are. You know what they are. There's your push button start and stop for the engine and some USB connectivity right there as well as the cup holders. Now you might be saying to yourself if you haven't looked at one of these trucks recently, Tom, at the price point of that truck, there's no wireless charging pad? Yeah, there is. It's just in a different place. It's right down here. So what ultimately happens is you kind of just deposit your phone in there. So it's still there, not a big deal. You still have a nice large center console, plenty of room. The lid doubling is an armrest, plenty of room. I like the thing about a large vehicle like this is that your arm isn't necessarily, unless you're a couple of giant bodybuilders, maybe Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman take a ride together somewhere, I don't know. Their arms would probably be touching, but I know mine aren't that big. So if I was in here driving or riding with somebody, there's plenty of real estate there. Our arms will be given a lot of space to stay nice and comfortable. More connectivity here as well within the center console. As you can see, the USB options and the power outlet right there. And you have the removable tray right here. A lot of advantages to that. Heck, you could serve protein bars and stuff like that to your guests that are riding with you, your passengers. And plenty of room underneath that. You don't have to have the tray in here, but it's there if you want. And if you're saying, well, Tom, where do I control things for the sunroof? Here is where all of that is. It is a power sunroof. It slides open and it tilts open. And while I didn't say anything about it earlier in the video, yes, there are four additional tie downs beyond the typical tie downs at the front and the rear of the bed right here. You can see them there and there and obviously in the same place on the other side of the truck of the bed, a little bit easier to see right there. But in case you thought, oh, Tom, you missed that, there's actually a total of 16 tie downs. I didn't miss that. I just didn't say it earlier. And there are so many different settings within the infotainment system that you can go in and turn on or off. One of those is whether or not when you lock the truck, the mirrors automatically fold in. You can turn that feature on and off. So if it's convenient to have them fold in as soon as you lock the interior, well, you have that option. And if you don't want them to, well, you can turn that off. It's just really up to your personal preference. And here on the driver's side door, we're gonna have the typical additional features and switches. You've seen some of this earlier, but something you might not have noticed is you have two settings for seat memory right here. In my personal opinion, we'll call it Tomology, I think that at the sticker price of this truck, you should also have the seat memory on the passenger side as well. Tell me what you think about that. So what else do we have here? Drive mode selection, all the controls for your exterior lights are here and you do have a tilt and telescopically adjustable steering wheel. Now it is manually, it looks like adjustable. Here's the control or the lever you drop right here. I'm kind of surprised we don't have the power feature right there to do that. And if you need to turn your auto high beams on or off, depending on what you want, your personal preference, there's the button to do that. Just very easy to find 
in case you were curious and we'll hop inside here let's see if we can get the animated graphics to come up on the screen and as you can see there is everything happening on the screen both screens that's why i'm showing you both screens just something to show you that is here and i'll go ahead and hit our push button start and we have the rear view camera mirror now, I'll be honest with you, that takes a little bit of getting used to, but it has a lot of advantages because you can see better with that. And when you have three people in the back seat, or maybe you have some large piece of cargo in the bed or something along those lines, well, guess what? You can still use your rear view mirror with that feature. So it's very nice. We have our 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster right here very easy to use and you can control a lot with that let's just hit this left arrow right here and look at what comes up so here's our display layout so you can control what's on the left side the right side literally everywhere if you want to get rid of the likeness of the truck right here you can do that now i did have somebody ask one time can you change the color on that truck no you can't very interesting i don't know if a lot of people have asked about that with GMC, maybe if enough people did, well, they might actually make that possible. I don't know, but it's there as it is. You can't change that right now. I just thought I'd let you know just things that people ask about. And I tell you what, today it is cold outside, at least for me here in Northwest Louisiana. For some of you, you're saying, man, I'd be sweating at the temperature that y'all have today. It's only in the low 40s. It's not that cold. Come on, Tom, you're a wimp. Well, maybe so, but I still have the heated steering wheel on. I like that. That is a nice feature to take advantage of today. And let me see how nice of a view or accurate of a view I can give you here. So here's my view with the conventional style shifter in drive and the drive position in case you were wondering about how that looks. Does it block a little bit of the screen? A tiny bit. But honestly, for me personally, it's not a big deal. Tell me what you think about that. And, and being in drive here in the parking lot, I can show you that you obviously have all of your different parking sensors along with a lot of different safety features. You have blind spot monitoring built into the side view mirrors. The seat will vibrate to let you know what's going on around you if you're getting close to running into something or whatever the case is. That's all there, nice to know. And then you have everything here for cruise control, and something that's kind of old school, but I think people like it a lot, so it's still here. What we have right there, the knob for controlling the volume of the radio and turning that on and off. And the 13.4 inch touchscreen, big, easy to use. You have Google Assistant where you just say, hey, you know who? I'm not going to do that because I know that sometimes I set off devices in your home. I could almost play pranks if I wanted to on people, but some of you might not like that, so I better not say, hey, okay, I won't do it, I promise. Everything for trailering is here as well. I can't say anything funny about that or smart, sarcastic or anything like that, but whatever. Maybe you're still laughing about it. I don't know. But one way or another, there's what we have. I have to give you something additional to consider in this video and enjoy it if you've made it to this point in the video, which I really appreciate. And you do have your built-in navigation here, but you also have wireless pairing for your smartphone, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you have some other app you want to use besides Google, which is what we have here, Google Maps, well, you can do that, no big deal. And you can go in here and take a look at all of your different camera views. There's the front camera, the rear camera, and so see here's something you want to know about. Notice the dots right here. So you'll see how you have two of those. That means there are more than one camera view. That means there's two on that area of the truck. One for the rear, one for the front, or should I say that in order? One for the front, one for the rear, now that we're at the rear. And the same with your side view mirror cameras. So very easy to see what's going on around you as far as the truck is concerned and you can also see the overhead 360 degree view that is very helpful i really like that and if you're looking for your employer or maybe one of the crew members on your race team or whoever you're hanging out with and you're thinking where are they you can find out if they're sleeping in the bed of the truck the truck will tell on them for you very easy to deal with and let's go over here I'm not going to show you everything here. 
It's so easy to figure out the hunt and peck method will do the job, but I did want to go in here and show you what you have. Connections, vehicle, apps, and permissions. You can see what all is here. If you need updates, you can go right there. But the thing I wanted to go in here and show you is vehicle. And you'll see what all is here. You have teen driver mode. You can turn buckle to drive on or off. You definitely want to drive with your seatbelt on when you're driving down the road. But sometimes you might be moving around in the pit area at the racetrack or maybe changing parking spots at the gym, whatever. And you don't need to put your seatbelt on to do that. That could help. So that has its benefits in all of your collision detection systems. Let's see what all is here. I'm not going to name everyone off, so look carefully or pause the video but you can see what you have here. That's part of what you're paying for, so I might as well show you. We can go back to the screen. Your rear seat reminder can be turned on and off, and comfort and convenience right there. Let's see what we have with that. You can see what all's here. Pretty simple to figure out. Like I said, the hunt and peck method will do the job for you. Lighting, power door locks, all of that stuff is here. Now, here is remote lock. All that good stuff, if you want to change things here, remote door lock, remote start, all of that is here. You can go and determine whether or not your heated seats come on automatically. You can turn that on or off. That's a benefit. There's so much here. It's just really nice. Passive door unlock, passive door lock, unlock or lock off right there if you want to do that. Remote left and vehicle alert. That's a good thing. So what will happen is when that's on, the truck will honk two times when you close the door or all four doors are closed. It will let you know. So quite a bit going on there. This is also the screen where you're going to come to. And let's see if I can remember where it is. I think it's right here. Let's see. Here it is. Remote mirror folding. So if you want your mirrors to fold automatically the way I showed you earlier, well, you can turn that on right there. I'm going to turn that off because that was where it was when I hopped into the truck. And now it is getting really warm in here. So you can see how things work here with our dual zone climate control. Pretty easy to deal with as far as that is concerned. If you want to sync both sides together, there we go. I'm turning the heated seat off right there. You also have the ventilated seat function. I really don't need that today. But that's what you have here. A lot going on within the interior of this truck. Tell me what you think. Did GMC make the right changes to these 2024 HDs? So tell me what you think down in the comments section. Do you get the right features for a sticker price of $94,925 with this truck? I'm always curious to get your feedback. This truck is pre-sold, by the way, in case you're interested. Obviously, you could order one at Morgan Buick GMC. Check out the link down in the description of the video to learn more. I do want to say a special thanks to my friends at Morgan Buick GMC for loaning me this truck for the day. And I know we didn't cover every single little detail. The video would probably be two to three hours long, and I don't think anybody's going to stick around that long. So we're not going to overload. Tell me what you think. I do want to say a special thanks to each and every one of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn about additional vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now and I will see you there.